Good morning. Uh, it's not morning. Good night, evening, planet Earth. Actually, I think I've talked about this before. How, like, you don't say good night. You say good night is a farewell thing. And you say good evening is like a greeting thing. But it's night, not evening. So it's like, eh. Uh. So I was peace setting, and I still am peace setting tonight. And to help me peace set, I typically have lots of milk. Oh, you can't really see. Oh, drat, that was on my computer. Let me get a tissue and wipe up the milk off of my keyboard. Okay, I thought, oh, this is disgusting. I need to take this off. Okay. This was a really bad plan. To show them the dregs of your milk yeah. in your blue cup. Yeah. I don't Which they still probably couldn't see. Yeah, I don't think they got very much out of that. I think the benefit for the cost was very low. Hopefully the keyboard still works. I hit H and it worked. H. Okay. Hopefully it'll be good. I already had to fix that once. Um, but yeah, so I, I drink milk and I usually eat M&M's, but I don't have M&M's. So I had to eat peppermint patties. <laughs> and let me show you the peppermint patties I ate. Cause there are a lot. All of these. <laughs> it's okay to get those on my keyboard. They don't. Yeah. They don't do anything. Yeah. <clears throat> so now I gotta, I gotta keep on, keep on, keep on, trucking, peace setting. To the end of night. Isn't that a song? Yeah. What is it? Rolling. Keep on. Keep on. Keep on rolling. Yeah. Good choice. Choosing a song to sing that you don't know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I do my best. Uh, so, I'm going to go back to 821, which is Physics of Energy, and, um... I was, like, being your, your electromagnetic waves, you know? Why? This is, like, your field of energy, because it's the physics of energy. As you can see, at MIT, we have all kinds of different levels of intelligence. At least some of us have more legitimate majors than 17. Oh, yeah. Like me, who's chorus 8. Woo! Hasn't officially switched yet. Not switching. I'm doubling. Right. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Stop showing off the brush. So, yeah. Uh, as you know, I'm trying to double in chorus 8. It's great. I found out uh, J-Lab, right, which is a junior lab, because you usually think of it as a junior, but I wouldn't be able to think of it as a senior, um, but it's... Uh, it's really, really intense. And it turns out that you can substitute it for a lab in another major. So I tried to see if I could do... What is it? Oh, I see what you're doing. Okay. Uh, so I was trying to do poli sci lab. Apparently that doesn't count. Because it's so. not legit. Course 17. I'm sorry. No, you have a great major. You should tell people about it. Inspire more course 17. Or anyways, go on with your explanation about how your illegitimate lab didn't count. So you had to find another one. really hurts. This is what, I, what happens on a daily basis. Not just with her, with everyone. Oh, yeah. Everyone. You know, like, a lot of people are meaner than me. This is, like, really nice, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah. Um, so, uh, my actual lab I'm going to actually substitute for it is Course 5. What's Course 5, you ask? Because I've never mentioned Course 5 ever before because I'm not Course 5 and I've never taken a Course 5 class. Chemistry! What? You think it doesn't make sense that I'm going to take a chemistry lab to fulfill my physics requirement? Neither do I! But it's a flexible physics requirement, you know? <laughs> so you're just stretching the boundaries. Yeah! So it's great because I'm going to... five. um... I'm going to do a chemistry lab called 5310, which is a chemistry lab specifically for not chemistry majors. What? This it's is like great. they saw you coming. It's like, yeah, it's like this was built for me. <laughs> really. Like, they're like, okay, Ryan's coming to MIT. He's not going to be able to do J-Lab. We have to make a lab for him. <laughs> That's really, really easy. <laughs> and in a different major. So, yeah, I'm going to be doing a 5310. It has a co-rec, has 512, which is organic chemistry. So I mean, I got to do that. You're doing orgo now. How yeah. is it? Tell us a little about it's, it. Uh, it's a fabulous class. I enjoy it greatly. This, this is supposed to be like an honest type of video. It's painful, man. It's 
painful. It's too go. vague. They're just like, so you do this, and then you bring a question to the to the TA, right? In recitation, he's like, I don't really know. I don't know, like, which rule takes precedent over which rule. And we're like, well, if you, if you don't know, like, how are we supposed to know? And we have a test, so I know it doesn't matter for you, but you really need to figure this out because you're supposed to be the one answering our questions. So I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. But Ryan's going to do great, man. Ryan's going to do great. Um, of course, 17, after all. Yeah. Can do know. no wrong. I don't know. You you deal with vague stuff, right? Politics is vague. Yeah, politics is vague. Yeah, so maybe maybe it'll be better for you. I like like concrete, like this is. You like answer. concrete? Yeah, I like concrete actually. It's really good to like stand on. And, yeah, like, it is. Draw I mean, like with chalk. Oh, it's great for chalking. Chalk is baller. Yeah. yeah. I approve. But yeah, so next semester is like the determining semester. Cause if I can pass 804 and 8044, which is quantum and stat mech, quantum mechanics and statistical mechanics, then I will basically have a physics major. Have you told them that you're like, you have Keon as a secret weapon? Okay, the key point of a secret weapon is that it's oh. secret. Shh. Keon, don't who is don't tell physics anyone. master. Don't tell anyone. Wait, now you're telling them that you just... I'm gonna, well, you already mentioned it. They can, like, look up Keon. He's probably, probably on the not. internet because he has a paper published and everything. Because he he's does? brilliant. Yeah. I shouldn't. He published a paper on the Parton thing. With McGreevy and other professors. Oh my god, it's crazy. So yeah, there's a physics. Oh, he he's not gonna like it if I say he's a prodigy though. Um, I'll really say it. physics prodigy. He's really good at physics. Who won't admit it? He's really good at physics, and he lives downstairs from me. So over IEP, he's gonna train me up. I'm gonna become. <laughs> he lives downstairs. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Some people, yeah. yeah. So he's gonna train me up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna become his protege in physics. That was convincing. I was convinced. You. you just went downstairs. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. Um, and hopefully that'll prepare me for 804 and 804. I just need D's. If I get a D in both those a D, classes. Is a D passing? A D is passing. A D, you get credit for the class at MIT. There are some classes that say I like... I mean, but like, how much does that murder your GPA? You know what? Let me tell, tell you a little... Let me Let me tell you a little story about a GPA, right? Okay. So when I walk across my stage at graduation... Hold up my physics diploma. I'm gonna call up Keon and be like, "Hey Keon, let's look at your physics diploma." And we're gonna put them side by side, and they're gonna be uh, identical, identical. Yeah. And then even wait, though wait, he wait, got wait, wait, straight wait, wait, A's wait, 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 in every advanced physics class in grad level physics classes, it's um, gross, man. Yeah. It's gross. But but picture this, you know, after you walk across this stage sure. at MIT and compare sure. diplomas, you walk into a job interview, and then they ask you. Oh, you were a physics major, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was. So, like, hypothetically, you liked and were good at the yeah. subject. Yeah, I was. And then they look at your GPA. What are, what are they going to say? Well, remember that MIT has jumped by a point, so they'll probably see, like, a 4.0 and be like, Wow, you are great! <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be like, yeah! MIT doesn't work on a 5.0 scale or anything, you know? Uh, uh, yeah. But, uh, no, I, I don't intend to get Ds. Hey, Abby. Good to see you. Good to hear from you again. I walked out into the hallway and I could hear you. I have a loud, booming voice. What can I say? Did you ignore open? No. Uh, it can be. You should yes. open it. Is can it? you open it for her? I can. So she can come in? Abby, we're oh. filming a Life in My Tea video. You want to say Are you hi? Really? Yeah, yeah, come in and say hi. Oh, but I try and avoid being in these. No, it's okay. You like it. Ready? I'm trying the nope. computer. Oh. Wait. Oh, it's okay. Abby, you recommended 5310 to me, remember? I did recommend I was telling them all about how I'm taking a chemistry lab for my physics yeah. major, despite really? the fact I've never taken a chemistry course here except for the general requirement. <laughs> but this you would be entertaining. Yeah, you need yeah. to course three chemistry courses. I did. I wasn't even course five. <laughs> Baller! Do they know what course three is? Course three is materials science. Do they know what course five is? Course five is chem... I did tell you them that. You said you told them that. Yeah. I'm just told checking. That. I'm just yeah. checking. This is important um, to tell people. It is. Generally, it's very important. Um, I bet I was... Translate. Yeah. I was telling them how I'm not going yeah. to get D's in my physics classes. I'm going to get, like, A's because Keon's going to train me up and I'm going to be his protege. It's going to be like, okay, so, what do you do? You, has Keon ever been in one of your videos? You intuit the answer to this problem. Has, and no, then you win. Right. Has Keon ever been in one of your videos? I feel like he may or may not have. I don't remember. He It'd should. Be great. Keon would be okay, great. So. <laughs> now you're doing it, too. Oh, that's a cool little earring. Thank you. 
Oh, it's locked to your ear. Yeah. Wow. So the key would have to unlock it, right? Yeah, oh. the key is right there, though. Yeah, it is, but oh, it can't but reach. Oh, but it can't reach. Oh, oh All you have tricky. to do is kick it off your ear, though. Shh. But would that rip her ear off? No. Ah! It looks like it kind of does. <laughs> huh. That's interesting. <laughs> well, uh, Abby, do you have anything you want to tell everyone? All my viewers here, my over 150 subscribers. You should tell them. You should tell them. Should I tell them about my life? Oh, yeah, tell me. They don't want to hear about year. that. Aww. Okay, guys, that's all for tonight, folks. So I have I have a cool life, though. Okay, tell them about your yeah, tell them about your, your life. Um, I am a bio major, which means I am course seven. MIT is easy if you study biology. This is not really true, but one of the things that is nice about biology is that they don't have a lot of requirements because they want you to. Because they're off easy. A lot. No, because they want you to spend a lot of time year offing. Okay. And of so cool people like me who do who take way too many classes. That's a stretch. Cool. Hey, finished. I finished my major after my junior year. So I just had three Hasses, that is humanities classes, left to take for my whole senior year. So I'm yeah. taking one this semester and then co-oping full-time. So I work full-time and make like entry-level pay at a pharmaceutical company. And she makes us cool. brownies on Wednesday nights. And that's what Ryan cares about. Yeah. Now, it smells like brownies now. So uh, Christina's for... making cake. <laughs> and Eduardo's that. talking. That was Eduardo. I resent Some that. Off the side. No, Why? Christina's making cake. Apologize. Why do you resent that? Why do I resent what? The cake? No, I resent him. Oh. Alright, folks. <laughs> it's been good talking to you. Not really. I hope... Yeah, it has. I don't know. They're pretty unresponsive. It's like they don't care about you. No, they respond in comments. In fact, this is a great time for me to say... Comment. Great comment, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter. Ryan Norman did, I think it, is, it might be a 17. Don't do it. But there might not be. <laughs> don't do Let it. Let me check real we quick what my Twitter it. account is. It's bad is. for your health. It's just Ryan Normandin. And like my page on Facebook, which is also Ryan Normandin. And it's great. Wait, do you have a Facebook page beyond your profile? Yeah, I have a, I'm a public figure on Facebook. Are you really? Oh, so no. What? Yes. Really? Peace. Peace.